Victoria and welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. I'm here to share tidbits and tips in life and business during my travels. I'm passionate about health, attaining it and maintaining it. Weight control, aging slowly and all aspects of health, emotionally, spiritually and physically. I have decades of experience owning a health food store, specializing in dietary supplements, but above all, it's what we do every day that counts. So please join me as we explore this life adventure together. Thank you. start with something very simple for a breakfast or any other time, a little omelette. We start with some fresh ingredients, primarily eggs of course. It has to be organic, it has to have no pesticides, no, no foreign substances, no chemicals, as pure as it can be because when we ingest it, it goes right into our body. And incidentally, the colour of the eggs depends on the breed of chicken. I've had green eggs before, actual green eggs. I'm from the farm, that's, that's where you should go. But if you can't, buy a good quality one that specifically says free rent. So, simple, three eggs. Whisk with a fork, whisk with a whisker, whisk them up nice and thoroughly. I like, um, I like mushrooms, I like cheese, if I've got some leftover spinach or any kind of greens. Um, you have some peppers, anything you want. So, I'm going to make some mushrooms on this occasion. So. A good knob of butter on the gas and get that nice and hot. Put a few mushrooms first. A little shout out to uh, for this beautiful board. It's a beautiful natural maple board, and um, I got it from uh, Granville Island. I'm just going to chop a green onion just for a little bit of flavour. I already washed these. Now, clearly, I'm not a professional cook. I'm a home cook. Yucky bits. It's always just for a garnish. I'm just slicing in some nice hot house tomatoes, just to garnish. We're going to add a little salt. Um, I use something called real salt, not the basic white salt that you can buy. This is full of minerals. It's not as expensive as the um, uh, Himalayan salt. It comes from Salt Lake City area. So that took literally like three minutes. Yeah, look. Mm. Mm, good. I'm going to put those on the side because um, I'm going to add them to my omelette later. They use the cheapest oil for and they hydrogenate it through a chemical process, which is pretty bad. Okay, so I'm using organic butter. Very important because the fat contains even more of the chemicals in this concentrated form. So organic butter is worth a little extra. I put my eggs in. Into a hot pan with hot butter. It's going to start to set and I give it a quick swirl with the whisk and then you leave it till it begins to set. I've got some um, Manchego cheese here. Um, I'm probably going to use half of that. It's probably about an ounce or so and um, I'm going to wait for this to set a little bit and then when it's ready I'll put some cheese on top and the mushrooms and fold it over while it's still a little bit moist on the top. Okay, I'll give you a quick shot of this. This is, uh, this is how far we've got right now. It's, uh, it's getting very close to being ready to turn over. The eggs aren't quite set, but the mushrooms are cooked. The cheese will melt as I f once I folded it in. So I'm going to take it off the gas. <laughs> this is the tricky part, and it doesn't matter if it isn't perfect. Fold over once, and I'm going to let gravity do the rest. <laughs> Trouble is, this is such a heavy pan. So I fold it over once and twice, and then I'm going to let it fall on here. They don't always turn out perfect. Okay, 
interesting and I think so. There we have breakfast, probably for two. Um, I will divide this and uh, we'll eat it later. And although this might seem like a high cholesterol food, that's really wrong information. I eat all these supposedly high cholesterol foods and my cholesterol is amazing. It depends how you balance the rest of your, your eating. But if you're eating hydrogenated fats, margarines, bad oils, deep fried, not eating enough green vegetables and fiber, um, then yes, you can run into problems. But if you eat a healthy diet, the fat from eggs, butter, shrimp, seafood, it's good for you, yeah. it's good. Um, the amount of sugar you eat is really um, a critical part of cholesterol, but nobody talks about that. We use quite a lot of wax, wax wraps. So when you have a piece of leftover cheese like this, or you want to cover something, we use the natural beeswax. Um, so once, once you've used it, you just wipe it down and you can reuse it and it forms to the shape. I put a band around this one because it was a small one, but um, yeah, they hold, they keep, they're just like saran wrap or cling wrap and uh, they do a great job. difference sometimes hard to get you can use any cheese if you have cheddar use up what you have 